Let yourself drift into deep space. No sound, no up, no down, only darkness stretching forever. And then from a place no one can name, something passes by. It gives off no light, no echo, but in its wake, space and time ripple like waves gliding across a still black lake. It's not a planet, not a comet, not anything we'd expect. It's a black hole, a supermassive one, billions of times heavier than our sun, roaming freely, unbound by any galaxy. But wait, aren't black holes supposed to stay put? Anchored at the center of galaxies, like invisible pillars holding the structure of stars together? So then, what could knock one loose? What kind of force could fling a cosmic anchor out of place? And if something like that can happen, what else might be slipping through the cracks of the laws we once thought unbreakable? Welcome to Astro, where science meets wonder, where the edge of space touches the edge of our imagination. Today, we follow the trail of a runaway giant, a drifter so massive, so strange, it leaves galaxies trembling in its path. This is the runaway black hole. Let's go back to something we once believed unshakable. In this vast ordered universe, there are things we thought would always stay the same. Like this, every large galaxy holds a supermassive black hole at its center. An invisible anchor, binding stars, gas, time itself into a grand cosmic ballet. The galaxy spins around it. Matter falls inward, and even though we can't see it, it's there, the silent force holding everything together. But then, our most powerful telescopes began to see something strange. Some galaxies looked perfectly normal. Spiral arms, glowing dust, bright cores. But when we zoomed into their centers, there was nothing. No black hole, no anchor, no heart. Meanwhile, in a far-off part of the sky, hundreds of millions of light years away, a blazing quasar floats alone, not orbiting anything not tied to any structure, just drifting, shining, alone. And that raises a haunting question. Could this be a runaway black hole? And if it is, what kind of force could possibly launch something that massive, something billions of times the mass of our sun, out of its own home? According to classical physics, that should be impossible. The gravity of an entire galaxy should be enough to keep it pinned in place, like a stone resting at the bottom of a deep, dark well. But the universe isn't that simple. It's not a static diagram. It's not just math on a page. It moves, it pulses, it evolves, and sometimes it breaks its own rules. Some theories say these black holes were cast out during violent mergers, when galaxies collide and chaos takes over. Others look deeper, toward imbalances in dark energy, or collisions with matter we can't yet detect. And one theory is even more unsettling. What if these black holes never belonged anywhere? What if they are ancient wanderers, older than the galaxies themselves, drifting through the cosmos from a time before structure, before gravity carved the universe into order? Whatever the truth may be, one thing is certain. These discoveries are shaking one of the core beliefs about how the universe holds itself together. Because if even a black hole can be cast out from the heart of its galaxy, what else might be drifting quietly out of place? Let's imagine something we were never meant to see. The black hole does not glow. It sends no signals. It doesn't appear in any way we would recognize. And yet, like a submarine gliding through a dark ocean, it leaves behind a wake, a disturbance in the invisible currents of the cosmos. And one of those disturbances is light. 
because when a black hole plunges through a cloud of gas, or to depart an unlucky star, it sparks a violent reaction. Matter gets shredded, heated, twisted into spirals hotter than millions of degrees. It erupts in X-rays, becoming one of the brightest beacons in the universe. A quasar. But some quasars are not at the center of galaxies. They're off-axis, alone, not orbiting anything, not tethered to any known structure, just drifting like a burning ghost with no home to return to. And some of them are moving, not slowly, but at speeds of millions of kilometers per hour, as if they're running away from the very galaxies that birthed them. The Hubble and Chandra telescopes have captured these strange sights, and they raise a question that slices through our assumptions. If a quasar has no galaxy, where did it come from? Or flip the question, if a galaxy has no central black hole, what used to be there? Between those two puzzles, a strange hypothesis begins to emerge. Maybe those lonely quasars and those hollow galaxies are part of the same story. Maybe they're fragments of a single event, a cosmic divorce, when a black hole was kicked out and took its fury with it, a runaway. And the trail it left behind is glowing. And if that's true, then we may be surrounded by a hidden network a diaspora of black holes cast out wandering the universe like ancient warriors in exile. And what we call light may just be the fingerprints they left behind, scratches across the surface, of something far larger and far more turbulent. So we ask, how many quasars that seem stable are really just pausing before they drift again? And how many black holes have passed by us already, unseen, we might have already witnessed a runaway black hole. We just didn't realize what we were seeing. Let's follow a trail you were never meant to see. A black hole doesn't shine. It sends no signal. It doesn't exist in any way our eyes can understand. But like a submarine cutting through dark waters, it stirs the sea behind it, a wake. A ripple in the unseen currents of the cosmos. And sometimes that ripple glows. When a black hole moves through a gas cloud or tears a star apart, it ignites something violent. Matter shreds, heats, spins. It flares in X-rays, hotter than millions of degrees, becoming one of the brightest lights in the universe. Squazar. But here's what unsettles us. Some quasars aren't where they're supposed to be. They're not anchored to galactic centers. They're drifting, blowing, alone, like spirits in exile, with no place to return to. And stranger still, some of them are moving fast, millions of kilometers per hour, as if they're escaping something or remembering what pushed them. We've seen them hubble. Chandra, they've caught glimpses of quasars on the move, which leads to the question, if a quasar has no galaxy, where was it born? And if a galaxy has no black hole, what was taken from its heart? Put the pieces together, a black hole missing here, a rogue quasar floating there. And suddenly, the outline of something bigger takes shape a network of exiled giants, runaway black holes gliding through space, quiet, invisible, but not forgotten. And if that's true, if we live in a cosmos scattered with these hidden travelers, that maybe the light we see, the light we trust, is just a scratch on the surface of something far more vast. So we wonder how many quasars are just resting before they drift again. And how many black holes have already passed us by unnoticed? But even this is just the surface. Let's pause and listen for what we don't hear. We have the theories, 
we have the simulations. We have data collected by the most advanced telescopes humanity has ever built. But what we don't have is a direct witness. A runaway black hole, if it truly exists, has never been seen by human eyes. Everything we know comes from echoes, from scattered light, from quasars off-center, from motions that don't quite make sense, or from absence, a void where gravity should speak. And that leaves us with a haunting question. Are we really seeing what's there? Or are we missing what truly matters? Astronomers have run thousands of simulations. In some, one in every 10 black holes gets kicked out during galactic collisions. One in 10. In a universe of hundreds of billions of galaxies, that could mean millions of supermassive black holes drifting, alone, unseen. And if they don't shine, if they give off no signal, no radiation, then to us creatures built on light, they may as well be invisible. Like living in a house, never knowing someone just passed your window in the middle of the night. But here's the deeper chill. What if one of them is heading this way? There would be no warning, no flash, no sirens in the sky. Because when a black hole moves, it leaves nothing but gravity. A silent pull that bends starlight, that twists space, that can rewrite the orbits of suns, and maybe the future of civilizations. And the most ironic part? We might only notice when it's already too late, when the sun begins to drift, when stars at the edge of the Milky Way crack apart, when time itself starts to slip. Maybe the black hole isn't fleeing the galaxy. Maybe the galaxy is being left behind. And if something out there is strong enough to break gravity, to bend the rules that hold reality together, then what, if anything, is truly unshakable? And if the universe really does contain millions of these silent wanderers, are we living beside them or beneath their quiet judgment? Let's lean closer to the edges of what we can know. Some things in the universe don't scare us because they threaten us. They scare us because they exist far beyond what we thought was possible. A runaway black hole is one of them. It doesn't follow the rules. It doesn't stay where it was meant to be, and it doesn't behave like anything we've ever known. We used to believe gravity was absolute, that if something could trap even light, then nothing, nothing could move it. But the universe tells a different story, a story where even the heaviest, darkest, most silent things can be thrown from the center, like a punctuation mark ripped from the sentence it was meant to hold and that makes us wonder, what's really driving this universe? Is it only physics? Or are there tiny imbalances, so slight, so subtle, that they bend the rules themselves? In quantum mechanics, there's a principle called uncertainty. Nothing is truly fixed until it's observed. So if a black hole leaves its galaxy and no one sees it go, did it ever exist at all? Or was it our suspicion? that brought it into focus. Some theories suggest these gravitational kicks aren't just mechanical recoil. They may hint at something deeper, a cosmic tilt, a built-in asymmetry in space and time, a slant so faint you'd never notice. But over billions of years, it could be enough to shift the fate of entire galaxies like tipping a table by just a few degrees and watching the marbles roll in directions they were never meant to go. Maybe the universe works like that too. No patterns, no rewinds. And each time a black hole is cast out, something in the cosmic blueprint changes forever. Maybe a black hole isn't just a gravity well. Maybe it's a memory, a wound still in motion carrying echoes of what once was, collision, creation and quiet, unspeakable loss. And if even a black hole can be pushed from its sacred center, 
Then where, exactly, is the center of us? In a universe that's always shifting, always moving, always becoming something new? Somewhere out there, maybe right now, a black hole is drifting through the void. Silent, aimless, unseen. It was once a center, a gravitational anchor, the heart of an entire galaxy. But now, it's nothing more than an exile. A wanderer slipping through the dark. We can't see it, we can't hear it. But if it ever came close, we would feel time stretch. Might would twist, and everything familiar would start to feel unfamiliar. So how many of these black holes are out there? How many roam the night, quietly, invisibly, while we go on, unaware? And if one of them was heading for the Milky Way, would we know? Or would we only realize it after it had already passed? After it had left behind a scar in the fabric of what we thought was real? Maybe the things we can't see are the very forces shaping everything we know. And if black holes, the titans of gravity, can be dislodged from the places they were meant to be, then what in this universe is truly fixed? The cosmos is a symphony with no conductor, but sometimes just one off note is enough to shift the rhythm of an entire galaxy.